I've been gone for three days. And finally, we get another episode of the Let's Play up. Yeah, it's about time, too. Hey, everybody, this is Double RPG, and, well, welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. In today's episode, we are going to the Olympus Coliseum to go through Aqua's part of her story through this world, and we're going to go through all of it indeed. And, um, anyway, on with the episode already in progress. But, first of all, I have to apologize why there hasn't been an episode for about, uh, for about... I would say three... Oh, there's some unverse that we gotta fight. Uh, I would say, uh, for about uh, the past few days. It's because I've been so busy trying to get, um... Oh, excuse me. I've been so busy trying to get uh, the review of Birth by Sleep on my, up on my YouTube channel. It's all in HD, and it's about 1.4 gigabytes, so it literally took my computer about uh, about 8 hours to get this video up on my channel. So, yeah, it's been quite a trip to get it up there. <laughs> yeah, it took a lot of time, but uh, it's finally up there, and um, that's why you haven't seen an episode for quite some time after that. I know I usually do about one or two episodes a day, but that was because I was so overwhelmed trying to get the review up when I've been trying, like, I don't know, maybe like four or five or six times trying to get it up there. But I've been running into technical difficulties with my computer because it hasn't been off for about a few days during, you know, since uh, trying to uh, get the review up. So uploading the video caused some problems. But, uh, yeah, it, it should be fine now. So things are back on track and, uh, we're finally back on this Let's Play, and right now we're battling uh, a barrage of Unversed. Right now is Aqua, but we have Hercules helping us out. And, uh, just go ahead and, uh, hack and slash these enemies to death, which I love to do. And, uh, and I know some of you may be asking this, but, uh, do you... I, am I going to put up, like, a playlist or something to where people can easily go back and find the episodes? And the answer to that, to that is yes, but that is right after I complete the whole Let's Play. So that way, people can, you know, easily go back to, you know, each character's story, and they can, you know, have a main menu to go back to, so everything will be set in order for the playlist. But, yeah, first priority is just to get the uh, all the episodes up, and who knows, this will probably take at least another... I would say a week or two, but who knows. But yeah, the, um, the, uh, the little, uh, picture, the, the pictures, the little picture graphics for, you know, making the menus and such for every character. Yeah, it's getting, uh, worked on right now, so, um, I got, like, three out of five of them done. Well, actually, four. N no, four out of six. Yeah, so I got 66% of those things complete. So, yeah, I just got a couple more to work on. Um, basically, I worked on the uh, the video playlist for uh, Terra, Vin, and Aqua's uh, stories. And, uh, well, right now I'm still working on Aqua's. I'm determining how many episodes there's gonna, there is going to be for her story, but who knows. And uh, I got Terra and Vin's, and uh, I think I already said that. And I've got the uh, main menu playlist, you know, so you can select which story you want to go to. The introduction, or Terra story, or Vin story, or Aqua story, or the final episode. Yeah, so, yeah. Every, uh, one of those sections that you select on the, uh, on the playlist is going to lead to the character's own set of playlist, you know, of what episodes you want to go to, but... Yeah, but you'll get the idea once it's up, but uh, it should be up sometime. But uh, it should be up. It should be up. So, uh, anyway, uh, we're still battling them versed here. I think we're almost done with these. There shouldn't be too many more left. And take that! And uh, we defeated them. And that didn't give us anything, but we did get some experience, money, and health orbs, just to name a few. But we've been using Thunderbolt to do the finishing maneuver. But yeah, we defeated that barrage of Unversed. And I think Phil is going to give us privilege, give us access to fight in the, uh, in the uh, prelims. Ah, uh, Phil's got, still has that attitude in him, where he's, you know, he knows all from, you know, based on what the, what it takes to be a hero, but he is kind of a blockhead at times, but still a good man at heart. You know, I trained a few heroes in my time. Maybe I could recite your little epic poetry. Do you really know Tara? Of 
course I do. He's the local hero everybody's going gaga for. Oh, now I get it. You're one of his fans. Everywhere I go, it's terror this, terror that. More like terror bull. <laughs> you see, I just want to track him down. Yeah, tell me about it, sister. You and the rest of Greece. Kid shows up out of nowhere, goes and wins the first games he ever enters, dazzling the whole town, and then the nude Nick up and vanishes. Everybody says Terra's the real thing. That's pretty much how uh, Phil described Terra right there in a nutshell. So tough, he turned the last Lemiel who faced him into a raving yow. Come on, Phil, be nice. So you're telling me he isn't here? Nope. Whoa, not so fast. He may not be here right now, but you never know. He could always well, he's not going to be here anyway, because he's already left yeah, for other worlds. So, type. yeah, it's just only Aqua this time. There's always a chance you might run into him. I got an idea. I'll sign you up myself. And if you need a trainer, I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. But Phil, I had to practically beg you to agree to train me. Shh, pipe down, kid. You and she ain't got the same attributes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, you're right. Oh, uh, gender. Little gender awful. criticism right there. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Now. Let's start with a few basics. Thanks, I won't need a trainer. Ah, women. Never changes. So I suppose you still want me to go and get you signed up. Meet me in a vestibule when you're ready. Yep, so we are going to be going into the vestibule after we do a little uh, searching around for items here in this section. And, uh, yeah, we got another sticker. It's a firework sticker. I think we already got one of those before in one of the uh, worlds that we visited. So, let's go over here, and we get a Mega Potion. It's pretty much the same for every world, the uh, types of items that you find in the treasure boxes. So, yeah, nothing new, but nothing spectacular. So, uh... Hmm, pardon me. <clears throat> Open that chest, it gives us Fire Strike? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's go ahead and enter the uh, vestibule right now. And we will ask Phil to sign us up. But first, let's get the map of the Olympus Coliseum right here. Yep. And then we'll talk to Phil, and then we'll get signed up for the training session. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be the same, kind of like with uh, when you played as Terra. You have to go through ten rounds and to make sure that you get to the end without the time running out for each round. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same, so nothing new. But uh, if, you, if you play the... If you play this mode, you know, if you fight some of the harder enemies, make sure that you have uh, the D-Link for Vin on you at all times, so that way he can, you know, just put the smackdown on the enemy, you know, so you can put a smackdown on your enemies more quickly, and it should make the battles go a lot faster, so, yeah. But something like this. This would be a good spot to use Vin. Yep, here we go. We're going to use him right now, and we'll just... We're just gonna just slaughter these guys right here. Just look how fast we're going. Just, just look at that lady go. I would say, just look at that son of a gun. Just like Bob Ross. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, we will. But it's for a lady, and just look at that beauty. She is one feisty woman. Okay, now here we go with the next round really quick. And there is a bunch of yellow and blue pots that we got to destroy, as well as a... Uh, as a bat unburst. I don't, still don't know the full name of it, but yeah, it's the one that kind of looks all vampirish. But uh, enough of that. Just focus on fighting them. It, just keep going. You're almost done. All right, we won that round. But too bad we don't get the uh, prize money or the uh, orbs from you know defeating. Oh, these guys again. Those are the ones that block that pretty much dodge Aqua's Keyblades, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem because we have vent the Ventus D-Link on us, so nothing new. Okay, I think I figured out the name of the uh, Mandragora types of uh, Unburst. They are called Mandrakes. So I was close. That I actually got the uh, pronunciation of the word right, but I just didn't get the right uh, terminology. You know, Mandragora, it actually should be Mandrake. So, uh, yeah, just a little uh, tidbit right there. Just did something right there. I actually went up onto the official Kingdom Hearts wiki. Not the Wikipedia page, but the wiki. 
and I found out the name of it. Perhaps I should have... I, I should go back to that Kingdom Hearts wiki and then, you know, be very thorough on what what the names of the enemies are that I fight against. I kind of had to do that when I had to do the... Uh, I had to do the uh, guide for um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 on the first episode of Game Nights TV with uh, getting the final star in the Grand Star, or the Grandmaster Galaxy, with the perfect run. But, yeah. <clears throat> uh, there were some things that I had to, uh, you know, say right, like the types of enemies or what were the traps that you had to go through. So, um, yeah, I probably should go back and do that. I think I might be doing that for the next few episodes, you know, just to go on with the rest of this game, just to make sure I get things right, you know, say things right, you know, about the enemy types and whatnot. Okay. Oh, some more of these from, uh, what was it called? Oh, uh, uh, Deep Space. Yeah. But they are easy as cake to defeat, so they're not that big of a pain. Because they you, they just only take one hit to just slaughter them. Sometimes there may be more come that come out of nowhere than you least expected. But anyway, we completed that, and we, that gave us a maximum HP increase, which is always good. So, yes, All cool. All left is the final, and still no sign of Terra. The guy I'm supposed to fight is someone else named Zack. Aqua, right? Hey, I'm Zack. <laughs> he just popped out of nowhere. That is Zack the puppy for you. Yep. Uh, it's fun to hear Rick Gomez as Zack again. And uh, if you pay attention from the scenes that are going on, that are about to ensue, to the others that are about to ensue, you can actually tell that Zack's uh, attitude towards Terra is kind of the same of uh, how he shows feelings for Aerith in Crisis Core. So. It's kind of a, it kind of reminisces that just a little bit. Now right now you are competing in the East and we got no idea about the other side. For all we know, your boy Terra could be cruising through over in the West. Then I shouldn't be fighting matches here. I should be over there looking for him. No, you uh, can't. It's not allowed. Athletes are expressly forbidden from watching matches in the other bracket. Did he just make that up? How should I know? Oh, <laughs> oh boy, Phil. I think you just kind of dropped the ball there a little bit. But, uh... Hey, do it for us, too? All right, then. I'll finish what I started. Very good. You will? Ha ha ha! Oh, the gods are smiling on me today! <laughs> Gods are smiling on you. Alright, so we will have to go back to the vestibule real quick. And, uh, yes, we are going to be fighting against Zack in the next match. So, yeah, that'll be the final there, but you may think that things will go on smoothly, but there will be some complications that are going to take place after we defeat him. And there goes his trademark squats. Zack, Tara is a friend of mine. How exactly is it that you know him? He saved my life. During the last games, this dude named Hades tried to make Terra his pawn of darkness. And he used me to do it. He had some kind of magic or something that made me crazy. Gave me weird powers that I turned against Terra. But you know what? Terra freed me. Well, there is some goodness in Terra. There is indeed. So, so Terra's not exactly for the darkness completely, Aqua. So, you should be fine. But yes, um, now we need to go back into the vestibule. But uh, yeah, there's nothing else to do here in front of the uh, Coliseum gate. So let's go back in the vestibule. And we'll talk to Phil, so that way we can get the final match underway. But no, we don't have to talk to him. We're just going to get on with the match. So, Terra. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're not going to be seeing Terra. Uh, Zach, uh, you probably didn't get the memo, but Terra's not even coming back to Olympus Coliseum because of him on his mission. Kind of like how Aqua and Vin are with their own ways, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, in this battle, we got to defeat Zack. And uh, it's pretty much the same when we fought him as Terra, so nothing new, nothing spectacular has been added, so 
But at least you don't find it, fight him when he has darkness taken over his soul. So, yeah, you should be fine. And uh, using the uh, using that uh, magic barrier uh, uh, counter block is actually pretty good if you play as Aqua because it makes things a little bit safer when you hit your enemies like that. Yeah, especially with the whole uh, the upper uh, like the up like the downward thrust or whatever or the downward you know impalement. But uh, yeah, just. Uh, dodges attacks and you should be fine and I think we should be able to defeat him right about now and that gave us a deck capacity increase and that makes up for having the uh, max HP increase which we only got which was the only thing that we got in the last part but uh, yeah we defeated Zack and um, that gave us both a magic I mean not a magic a maximum HP and deck capacity increase based on those two battles but, oh boy, that is the dude that kind of messed around with uh, Zack. So, yes, we are again reintroduced to Hades. There he goes with his little uh, witty um, behavior, you know, of him being very cunning and mischievous with the speeches that he gives. You use Zack and try to cast Terra into the darkness. So... I take it you're acquainted with the spineless chicken heart. Spineless Tara chicken heart. Tara is my friend, <laughs> and I hear he triumphed over the darkness. He's not spineless. <laughs> Funny, you know, because I heard different. <sighs> you see, it was chicken heart who asked me for a little, shall we say, instruction on how to use darkness in the first place. Never. And he, was he just wants to learn how to control it so that way it doesn't take over him. Yeah, it, villains like that just usually has a w they usually have a way to uh, trick the uh, trick those who are begging for uh, answers. But yeah, it's not working for Aqua. So yeah, yeah you are gonna be in a world of hurt, Hades. So you better go run back down into the pits of Tartarus. Man, if only I were up against him. Aqua. You gotta avenge me and Terra. Oh, she will. will. And <laughs> there he goes. It's just like he is... It's like he is slowly approaching Terra as if he wants to ask her on a date. But, yep, Zack's gonna watch there on the sidelines. And uh, Aqua is going to fight against... Hades, who's going to show up, and this is kind of reminiscent of how we fought against Sephiroth and the uh, Titan, or fought, you know, going through the uh, Hades Cup match in Kingdom Hearts One. But we have the Ice Colossus going that is going to uh, terrorize us, and uh, yeah, Hades is not going to play fair. So yeah, we're going to have to do some pummeling on two opponents. But uh, Zach wants to help, but. Uh, Aqua does not want to put her friends in harm's way, so she, uh, so she can do things by herself. So. I can do this on my own. So, yep, for this battle, we have to defeat the Ice Colossus and Hades. But the first thing we want to take out is the Ice Colossus, and Hades won't even bother us while we do that. So. But, yeah, let's go ahead and take out the Ice Colossus first, so that way it doesn't cause us any problems, even though it's a big character, and sometimes big characters can become very big distractions. So we need to defeat it where we are, so that way it can remain incapacitated for the rest of the fight, and we can focus on Hades. So, uh, yeah, just uh, be careful with uh, its uh, attacks and all. Just uh, keep attacking its feet, and it should be going down for the count pretty shortly. So... If you can, you could try to hit up the upper part, but yeah, just mainly stay down at the bottom and use your uh, use your death blows uh, against it. And so now it's incapacitated. So for the rest of this fight, focus your battle against Hades, and you should be golden. Too bad he doesn't use his phrase like "Is that all you got?" from uh, Kingdom Hearts One and Two. After you, def you know, hurt him many times, he'll kind of 
disappear to another location, but just don't worry about that. Oh, gosh. You are just way too easy. And we defeated him again, and that gave us Diamond Dust, the uh, command style. And I figured that would be the case because we fought against Ice Colossus, but yeah, we defeated both Hades and the Ice Colossus, and they are going to be running with their tails between their legs and coming back to haunt the Olympus Coliseum another day. I knew that snow cone wouldn't cut it. I need a real Titan. <laughs> Stay tuned! A real Titan. He's probably talking about the rocky one that we're going to be fighting in Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts Stupid 1. Stupid Hades. Next time I'll put him in his place. Oh. Oh yeah, you're the champ. We got to celebrate. Huh? That won't really be necessary. Hmm. Hey, how about one date? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. Yeah, he was going to hit on Aqua at some point. <laughs> to ask, you know, to ask her on a date. enough. And I'm still a work in progress after all. Huh? Well, how about this? I become a hero, then we go on a date. I I can't make any promises. Uh, <laughs> she yes. should have. Great, it's settled. Hero <laughs> they should have just made her face completely red, just like just the texture of the, her face, you know, with it being all white, peachy, and just make it completely red from oh, uh, embarrassment Man, or just training. blushing or whatever. Uh, Aqua, what's wrong? Your face is red. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Aqua just got hit on by Zack the puppy. Right? <laughs> and you know, they would actually make a good couple if you think about it, if, based on the Kingdom Hearts universe, but too bad that doesn't even happen. But yep, the little bluebird would have been a good date for Zack. But who knows? Maybe it'll happen and maybe it won't. Maybe they'll meet each other again in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D or Kingdom Hearts 3, but who knows? Anyway, I think that will do it for the Olympus Coliseum, and yes, indeed it is, as Aqua is going to have to leave and search for Terra some more. So, yes, that we forged a D-Link with Zack, and we have the Mark of the Hero Keyblade, and I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So next time on Double RPG, let's play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. We are going into the next world, which is Deep Space, and we'll see how far along we get with that from there. And just so you guys know, just as I mentioned before, my review of the game is up on my YouTube channel, so go check it out if you want to. And more reviews are to come. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gamers, and I'll see you on the next episode. See you guys then.